What's up guys, welcome back to another Christmas content advent calendar video. Thank you once again for joining me at this festive time of year. Today we're going to dive into Photoshop where I'm going to show you how you can take the color grading from any photo and apply it to any other photo. So we're talking colors, a little bit probably of contrast, stuff like that. Any photo to any other photo. Let's dive in. I've got this photo here, which was taken a little while back. I quite like it. This is just a random photo of mine that I've picked. This was taken the Leica SL2, but you could use any photo. I want to apply a different color grade to it. So the very first step that we're going to do is find the photo that we want to copy the color grade from and bring it into Photoshop. So in this situation, I want to take this photo and apply the color grade from this to the seascape. Now, the reason I'm choosing these two is because they seem pretty different, right? They're, they're pretty different color grades, different kinds of photos, but I'm gonna show you how powerful this is and how you really can take this from any photo to any other photo. So a lot of these tutorials, you know, I'm not saying my tutorials, obviously, <laughs> but a lot of, you know, Photoshop or Lightroom tutorials or whatever it is will say any photo to any photo, and it doesn't actually, you know, it's specific photos. But this one will actually work with any photo at all. So we're just gonna drag this into Photoshop here on top of our photo. That's fine. It doesn't matter about sizing it. We're just going to click the tick just to have it in here. Now, what we're going to do next is go up here to uh, a new layer. We're going to select a new adjustment layer. We are going to go for gradient map. Now it's going to show completely white to begin with. So I'm going to drag that just beneath our layer that we've just added in, just beneath our new photo. And you can see up here, we've got what actually is the gradient but it's all white at the moment. So we need to click on that. We're going to add some colors to this. So first of all, let's start over on the left part of the gradient. This is going to be the darker part of the gradient. So let's click on this white box here, the color, and then we can use the actual eyedropper tool to select the darkest color we can find in this color grade on this photo. So that's going to be something like down here. Now, We've actually done something wrong and that's important because this will definitely come up. Let's cancel all of that. We have got the layer mask selected of this layer, which means everything is white. So let's go ahead and click on the actual layer itself, the actual controls. Let's go back in here, click on that white square. And now we can select colors actually on this photo. So let's go ahead and click a dark color here, something like something like that I think is probably fine. It's in the sort of red area. You can adjust this color slightly if you want to, but I'm going to leave it as that. We can always come back and change it as well. Let's pick a very light color as well. So let's go for the white up here. This is going to be the, the brightest part of the photo. So Let's go ahead and select something on this tree here. So something like that looks pretty good. It's a very sort of bright orange. Okay, great. Now we need to add some more colors between those two, because right now it's a two tone kind of thing. If I press OK and I hide this photo, we've colored this photo with these two tones. It looks pretty good. Actually, I quite like it, but that's not what our intention is. So let's pop this photo back on and let's come back up, press that again. We can add another point on the gradient here by just clicking beneath it. You see where the hand icon comes up. So let's click an area about here. Let's change the color. Now this is a, a darker area, but not crazy dark. So let's go for something like, something like that I think is probably pretty good. Let's go okay. Let's go for a sort of mid-tone area. Now let's go ahead and press the color here. Let's go for something like, something like that I think works pretty well. You wanna look for sort of a mid-tone color. We can just bring that up. We can adjust these slightly if we want to. And then we want to select another one between the mid-tone and the kind of white point. And we wanna select a pretty bright color here without going too mad. So let's select something like, like that. We might even want to just brighten this manually ourselves. So let's do that. We can also reduce the saturation a little bit by bringing it over towards the white here in the color picker. And if we want to, we could come into the, the brightest point and just make that a little bit brighter and less saturated. We could do the same with any of these. So if we want to just make this a little bit less saturated, I'll bring that over to something like that. And I might do the same with this. I might make that a little bit brighter and a little bit less saturated. So it's not quite so intense. Now, if we press OK, let's get rid of that photo. Look at how we've color graded this. We've color graded this with these colors. So going from darkest to brightest, we've gone for sort of a dark red to orange to a very light kind of latte color. And look at the effect it's had on the photo, which I think looks kind of amazing, actually. If we turn this off, that was what the photo looked like. 
and we have completely changed the color grade. Now, of course, we can change the blending mode. We can change the opacity. I think opacity is the best way to work with this. So let's bring this down to something like 50% and see what it looks like. You can see it's made a nice difference to the photo. Let's turn it off and back on without maybe completely changing it just all together. We could even bring it down to something like 30% just to have a, a sort of a more of a subtle change to it. Or you could go all the way up to something like 75% and have a little bit more of a of a full-on color grade, more of a stylistic choice to this. Now, what's really nice about this is we've now created that as a gradient map. We've now created that as a color grade. You can now bring in any photo underneath this layer and apply this color grade to it. So for example, we can bring a portrait in. So let's find one of those. So we can drag any photo. In this case, we'll use a portrait just straight on top of this layer. Let's press the tick here to uh, confirm that. Let's just hide that background layer. And look at that. If we turn the gradient map off, that's how the photo originally looked. And with the new color grade, that's how it looks. Now we can take that gradient map. We can reduce it down again if we want to. Let's say 40%, 39 is fine. We can turn that off, turn that back on, but look the effect that's having on the photo. I just find this a really interesting way to edit your photos. Now, of course, we just took the color grade from this photo here, but we could take a color grade from any photo. So for example, we could take the original color grade of this photo, so much more of a cool blue tones kind of color grade, very little orange, and apply it to any photo. It's gonna give it a cool blue kind of wintry feel to it. But it's a really interesting way to play with your photos. And like I say, you can really add a certain style to your photos, a certain look to them, which you wouldn't necessarily think of as a way to edit. The gradient map can be a very powerful tool for doing stuff like this. Now, of course, if you've got any questions, pop them down in the comments. But otherwise, I'll be honest, guys, this is one of my favorite things I learned actually reasonably recently all about the gradient map. It's one of the most exciting things I've learned recently with editing. Because once you've edited a lot, like a lot, a lot of photos, <laughs> even if you're trying to push yourself with different things, eventually you'll always come across something new because there's always new stuff to learn. And, and especially with Adobe and, and lots of other companies, actually, they, they're adding new stuff in all the time. Not that this is new, but you'll come across something you've never used before and find is a really interesting way to use it when it comes to editing your photos. I love trying to find styles for photos as well as kind of, you know, as well as going for the kind of realistic, natural look. I like trying to find styles. And this, I mean, this particular color grade always has a, mm and like a sepia tone to it, which I really, really like. Of course, there's a full list of all the kit used for these photos, this video, everything down in the description, so you can go and check that out for yourself. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video because there's new videos every day through to Christmas Eve. That's not very long now. That's not very long, actually. I think I need two more videos to go. I think this goes out Wednesday. Hopefully it's Wednesday when you're watching this, or maybe you're watching this in the far future. And all of this is well and truly over. But either way, subscribe because there's new content all the time either way. I will, of course, see you in the next video, which will probably be tomorrow depending on when you're watching this. But as always, thanks for watching.